Hi, I'm Marin and welcome back to my channel, Marin Makes It. Today I'm here to talk about a brand of lashes that I've never talked about on this channel before and that is Lashify. I wanted to try out their relatively new G Gossamer Lash. They give the styles letter names on Lashify and this is the G for Gemini. I'm going to talk about the style itself, show you what it looks like on, and talk about if I think it's reusable or not. At the end, I'll tell you guys whether or not I think this lash is worth buying. So it seems like Lashify was really one of the first brands to come up with a system of at-home eyelash extensions. I looked online and it seems like the founder of Lashify, her name is Sahara Lottie, and she started working on these products in 2016, which is a lot before other companies came out with similar type stuff. It seems like it wasn't until 2018 that her products really gained momentum when editors of Vogue and Glamour and Elle magazine started to pick up on these lashes. In 2019, there was some different makeup artists that used them on celebrities on the runway, and that's when it seems like it really gained momentum. In early 2020, this was definitely one of the biggest and most developed options for a system of at-home eyelash extensions. I originally tried Lashify in early 2020, however at this time the G did not exist, so I am excited to try this style today. So why did the G's particularly intrigue me? So they are marketed to be the thickest lash that Lashify's ever made. So by thickest I mean that the fibers on the lashes themselves are thicker than any ones they've ever had before. At first I thought, ew, like that's gonna look like a cheap strip lash, like why would I want that? Um, and then I kind of dug a little bit deeper into how this was being marketed and they said this was the most similar to professional eyelash extensions in the look that they're supposed to give you. That's when I was really intrigued and I was like, okay, we've got to try this. So this is my order from Lashify right here. I've actually been waiting the entire week just so I could open this on camera for you guys. So let's take a look at what is in this envelope and what the packaging is like. And then this is how the gossamers come. So they come in these little cartridges, um, which come in these little plastic boxes, which come in these little plastic sleeves. So that's one thing I definitely don't like about Lashify is this is a lot of plastic packaging and it's all one-time use plastic. I would love for them to have some kind of a system where you could recycle these um, and send them back to them, kind of like how you can do for cartridges for ink where you can get them refilled. That would be a really cool system that they could come up with to make these a little bit more eco-friendly. These are a pretty curled lash, which did make me a little bit nervous because with my hooded eyes, I do struggle a little bit with lashes that are too curled. If you want to understand the reasons why, I made a whole video about this where I compared uh, lash curls and talked about what works and what doesn't work on hooded eyes. I'll link that one in the description down below and also at the end of this video. I would say these are similar to fluffies if you know Lashify in the curl. I would say this is more of an L curl in that the most of the curl happens at the base of the lash um, and then they sort of go outward from there like kind of like this shape as opposed to like this like a D. So that does work pretty well with my eye shape so I did not have an issue here at all. Let's take a closer look at these lashes. The fibers here do appear to be thicker than the other fibers on the styles I'm showing here so I do think they are accurate in saying this is their thickest lash fiber yet. The thing is in order for the lash band to support these thicker heavier um, fibers, the lash band has to be pretty sturdy. And when I say sturdy, I mean it's like stiff. Like if I try to wiggle it to loosen it up at all, like this thing will snap. Like it's brittle like a bar of chocolate. Like you think normally a lash band is kind of like a twizzler, like it's sort of like bendy like this. Okay, this is like a bar of chocolate and that it will like literally snap before it bends at all really. So with the B style here, you can see I can flex the lash band and bend it and it immediately returns back to its original shape without breaking. With the G style, when I try to bend it the same way, it snaps and creates a really awkward right angle and you can't really get it to go back to the way it was originally. Also, it's very weirdly easy to just pluck off pieces of this with my own two hands without much effort at all. So there's good and there's bad to this. So the good is that the lashes, st the fibers stay really spaced apart. They kind of look like this on the lash band and they stay that way. Like in the morning when I wake up, they look exactly like that. Like they're not going anywhere. They don't get like clumpy at all, which sometimes you can have them uh, clump together, especially overnight or after you shower. These ones, they're not going anywhere. The downside of that is that you do have this really sturdy, really stiff lash band really close to your eye line. And then if the corners start to lift, 
it gets really pokey, like really uncomfortable. Um, so I would say you have to be pretty spot on with your application of these. Like if you're a beginner, these are probably not the ones to try. You have to really be spot on with, with your glue placement, with the placement of the lashes themselves, and also with how you fuse them to your natural lashes in order for these to stay on. Because of this problem, I definitely don't recommend putting these on either the innermost corner of your eye or the outermost corner of your eye. I'll give Lashify credit here. It does say on the website that these are not meant for the inner corner or the outer corner of your eye. The reason for that is just because that is a lot of the time where lifting starts and also where it can get sort of the most pokey, I would say, and also where you're the most likely to accidentally have them start getting messed up like when you sleep, especially if you're a side sleeper. The reason these lashes are called the G lashes is that G stands for Gemini, and so Gemini is the twins in the zodiac, so the reason for that is that there's supposed to be two looks in one lash style that you can make with these. So you're supposed to be able to wear them either the way that they come for like a more voluminous look, or you're supposed to be able to sort of spread them out for a more spaced outlook, and then you get two styles out of one lash. What I think is kind of weird about this is because the lash band is so brittle, when I try to space these out, like, I can't space them out as far as I think I should be able to, let's say, without the lash band literally snapping on me. Um, and then you end up with like all of these like little clumps of the lashes. And I feel like that's just a lot more work because now you're applying like, instead of maybe six, you're applying like 12 when they, when they snap like that. So I'm, I'm not really sure if I feel like the product like exactly makes two looks in one, if that makes sense. Like sure, you can space them out a little bit, but you have to be very careful with when you're doing this and when you're kind of uh, bending them outward. So the application went pretty, pretty similar to how I apply other at-home eyelash extension systems. I'll put glue on the spine of the lashes themselves and I'll also put them on the base of my natural lashes. I'll wait for the glue to get tacky and then use tweezers to bring them closer to my natural lashes. You're putting these on the underside of your natural lashes and you're gluing them to your lashes, not the waterline or the skin. If you feel like it's poking you or uncomfortable at all, you're probably applying them too close to your skin. You really shouldn't feel like you have them on at all uh, once you have them on there. If you can feel them, they're probably too close. If you appreciate me going into so much depth in this review, then go ahead and hit the thumbs up button down below. It really helps YouTube recommend this video to other people who like to do their own eyelash extensions at home. If you want more information on application technique, then I've made a whole video on that actually already. I'll link that one in the description down below and also at the end of this video. So what do they look like on? So right after applying, this is what they look like. I actually love the look of the thick fibers, and I actually do think they really resemble professional lash extensions, so they definitely got this part right. I think these give more of the look of length without heavy volume, which is something kind of difficult to do with these lashes. So what I mean by that is a lot of the time when you start to get uh, longer lashes, it also comes at the cost of like, they're, they have to be like kind of filled in around the base of your lashes, um, so you're getting volume along with length. These, I think, really give you nice length without so much volume. Um, and the way that I can tell this is that when I have them on, I can still see my mobile eyelid here, um, as opposed to things with a lot of volume. The lash fibers are so dense along your lash line that you really can't see the mobile lid at all. This isn't really a better look per se, it's honestly just a different look. And I'm just trying to give you guys some details on what distinguishes these from other lash styles so that you can know if this is a look that you might like, because I know when you go on the Lashify website, it's really hard to figure out like, what are the differences between all these styles and also like, what would look good on me. So how long did these lashes end up lasting me for? The first time I put them on, they lasted me three days. I was so mad when they started coming off on the third day. I remember it was Wednesday morning, I woke up and I felt something poking me in the eye and I was like, that's the lash starting to come off. I can usually get seven days wear out of my lashes, so to have this already happen on the third day was kind of disappointing. I used the Whisper Light and the glass this first time that I applied them. Then I tried this a second time with the G's and also a third time just to be able to give you guys a really thorough review of how long they last me. The second time and the third time I used the Lash Links glue, which I actually have a code for 10% off down below. I'll put that information in the description down below so that you can get 10% off your entire order with Lash Links. Anyways, I tried the uh, Lash Links glue with the glass from Lashify over it, 
and I got about five days, I think six days the second time out of it. So I got a little bit longer out of it. I was a little bit annoyed with this still because I like to redo my lashes every Sunday of the week pretty much. So when I get seven days out of them, I can pretty much do it on the same day of the week each week. But with five days, it throws me off a little bit more. I've actually worn the same set of G's three times in a row because I really wanted to test out the reusability along with the wear time of these lashes. So with reusing them, you can definitely reuse them the same way you reuse other at-home eyelash extensions. The first time I did this, I ended up with a bunch of broken pieces because I didn't allow them to soak long enough in the isopropyl alcohol and so it was really difficult to get the glue off so I was brushing through them a lot to get the glue out and in that process I was breaking off lash fibers and also breaking the lash band itself so definitely be a little bit more generous than you would normally be with the amount of time you're soaking them in the isopropyl alcohol for before you try to get the glue off. However, I would definitely still say that these are reusable and once I kind of learned this about needing to leave them in a little bit longer, I was able to reuse them now three times. I think this point about the reusability is really important because these are a much more expensive lash. These are normally $25 for this cartridge of 12 that you get. So that means that each of these little tiny segments is $2.08. So if you like drop that thing on the floor, you just drop $2. Like you're not even, like think about when you drop a quarter and you're like a little bit annoyed, like you're dropping $2 bills every time you drop one of these. So I think the reusability part and the cost per use part makes a big difference because if I can use these four times as opposed to one time, that means my cost per use is 50 cents versus uh, $2 each time. So in summary, basically, I would say your application technique has to be spot on for these lashes to work for you because these corners, when they start to lift, are very uncomfortable. So I would say this is not a style to try. If you're just starting out on this and you don't really have your application technique down, I would not start with the G's. You're going to be really frustrated with this. I also don't really understand how people stack a lash style like this that has such sharp corners. I feel like that would be very difficult to do, but I'm not sure that I would recommend doing that with these lashes. The more you overlap them, the more risk you're starting to have maybe of lifting corners. I don't see how this would be feasible personally on my eyes. Maybe it's just my eye shape though. All that being said, do they look pretty on? Yes, they are stunning. Honestly, the number of compliments I got, even from random strangers while I was wearing these, was quite a few. So I definitely agree that these are pretty lashes. They give a look similar to lash extensions at the salon. This is a really nice in-between between like that natural and like that a little bit more glammed up look. They are a little bit more expensive, so I'm not sure how much I'll be wearing them in the long term. I do think for special occasions or maybe for weekend trips um, or for photo shoots, these are gonna be really nice to have. I just wouldn't use these if you're going like on a week long vacation. Like this is not your lash that you can count on lasting you a full seven days at all. If you appreciated this in-depth review about the G Gossamer Lash, then please hit the like button down below if you haven't already. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more content I have coming soon. I have lots of other reviews of lashes planned in the near future. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have you tried these lashes? And if yes, what do you think of them? I'm always curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Bye YouTube!